Hi everyone, it's Steve here from the UK R2 Builders Club and I wanted to do a quick video today just to highlight an issue that people may come across when building the Padawan 360 system. Um, as you can see this system looks like it should work. Uh, I know for a fact that the receiver and the transmitter are paired. Uh, this is not a genuine Microsoft transmitter, a uh, uh, receiver I beg your pardon, um, but the issue is actually to do with the USB host shield. Now when you buy these, if you buy especially the sort of the cheaper ones from China, um, they will work absolutely fine uh, but there is an issue whereby some of the solder tabs down the bottom here do not come factory pre-soldered and if the light will help me out a little bit here um, you can possibly see on this one I have uh, soldered the two 5 volt tabs you can see uh, there's a 5 volt uh, two a pair of 5 volt little unsoldered tabs and you basically bridge them with a blob of solder that's what's now giving the puck its power if you haven't soldered that this wouldn't even light up however um, what I've realized is you also need to uh, solder tab the bottom of the two 3.3 volt tabs you don't want to solder the one nearest to the USB plug itself sorry if that wasn't focusing there we go so you can see that the one nearest the row of header pins is not solder jumpered across okay now that means that there's no logic flowing through the um, through the receiver so it's not actually being able to um, do any data sort of stuff even though it's actually lit up and it's paired so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, swap this board out for one that I have already solder tabbed the 3.3 and we'll see what the results are okay so I've literally just the second plugged that all back together now with the 3.3 uh, volt jump and what and you can see straight away now almost straight away the transmitter is now uh, talking to the receiver and therefore to the Arduino so I have now got control so if I push start uh, the segment starts lighting up if I click down on the left stick I would expect it to rotate round which it does indicating speeds one two and three and if I push this button again it takes us back into uh, non-drive mode so anyway that's uh, that's a gotcha um, a lot of people may find that if they've got problems they are very easily solved simply by hopefully if I can make that steady enough you can see now down the bottom the 3.3 volt tab is also solder jumpered across not the one nearest the USB plug itself the one nearest the header pins Anyway, that's it. Just a quick video. I hope that was useful. Um, please do get in touch if you've got any problems. I'll do my best to help you guys out. Take care, stay safe, and I wish you all happy holidays. Bye for now.